Is it because I love broccoli that I woke up to this? Oh my, I need butter. Woke up this morning with a little horse. Not that kind of horse. Alright, uh, back on the road again. Sorry, I had to cut out a little bit. Um, yep. Yeah. We're heading home. Just left Town East Mall. We're here on Childress. Yeah, Childress Road. Looking for idgets. There's no idgets. I don't know what I'll do. There's really an idget in every lifestyle, every town, every nook and cranny. <laughs> oh man, I love doing these idget videos. You get to see a little bit of the sights, cars, you know. Can't do anything about the shaking of the camera. Unless the roads were a little more easy to ride on. But, hey, I don't know if it shows that much anyway. I don't know. So, I'm about to come up here on Galloway. Usually Galloway has a few hitches. I had a few this morning. I didn't record, but I should have. What's that saying? Woulda, coulda, shoulda. You know, I have a neighbor kid who used to say that all the time. That's where I got it from. Over here on the right, can't see it, but there's a barbecue in there. Barbecue place. Oh man, it's the best barbecue place. If they put barbecue in, they stuff it into a baked potato. I think it's called Slabs. S-L-A-B-S. -S. If you get a chance, I hope you saw that bird fly by just now. Huge old pigeon just flew across the screen just now. I hope it showed up. That would be kind of cool to see. We're about to finish up all this going on up here. Man, doing a lot of construction on I-30. And they're moving bridges, moving this way, moving that way. So, we'll have to see what's going on here. I think I'm in the right lane. I, I give an inscription of an idiot, and all y'all know pretty much. Anybody new in here? An idiot is a person that's driving on the road, and they and they're just do stupid things. Like the biggest thing is the blinker. Now there's a blinker on that guy right there. He's making a left. That's wonderful. But you get an idiot that's going across, and all of a sudden they're right next to you, and they just cut you off and go right in front of you without a blinker. Those are idiots. Use a blinker. Tell me you're coming, or I won't have to panic. You know, I'm going to get over. I'm turning. I'm going to put a blinker on. I've looked to see if I can get over, and I'm going over to one lane. Now, how hard was that? That plastic stick, or whatever it's made of, was put in this car on the left-hand side of your steering wheel for a reason. Use it. Hint, hint, hint. Then you get the last minute people, I'll say it again, they'll be in the far left hand lane, their exit's coming up on the highway, and within a hundred yards of that exit, they're come flying across from the left hand lane and come over three lanes just to get to that exit and make everybody have to break. Idgets. Idgets is another word for idiot. I got it from a movie or television show, I mean. And uh, it, just, it, it fits perfectly. My other three videos that I've done, uh, Idgets on the Move. That's what I call them. That's what this one's going to be called. Idgets on the Move, part four. I'm going to quit putting the word part on there, and then I'm just going to keep filming my video series called Idgets on the Move. Tell me if you like them. 
give me a like and subscribe on this video. Uh, it'll be a little short one today. It won't be too long. The house is, we're only about, we're about a halfway there to the house. Oh, there's a blinker on that guy. He's turning right. It's a miracle. All right, I'm going to use my blinker. And come on over because I have to turn up here on Galloway. Oh, excuse me, we're on Galloway. I have to turn on La Prada. Excuse me. There's a nice house right there to the right. You can't see it. Big, beautiful horse right there. Uh, I knew that family real well. The husband, Rod, Ronnie Rawls, was my insurance, my very first insurance man for my first car I ever had. He's still around. He lost his wife. I miss Bobby. She was sweet. Then they had a son named Bobby Rawls. Or Robbie Rawls. Yeah. Everybody's hitting me. Bobby, Ronnie, Bobby. It's so funny. But I love that family. It's just been so good to me. I've known them throughout, throughout the years. It was sad when, she, when Bobby was gone. But yeah. Just wanted y'all to see this. We're doing pretty good. Yeah. I'll try to get at least 10 minutes on this video. We'll search. We'll cruise around a little more just to get it up to the 10 minute mark. back my last video I just released and we had some weird clouds come in yesterday afternoon and I recorded it and it kind of gave me an eerie feeling of aliens so I kind of stuck with that a little bit and filmed it as an alien type video it's still the clouds I know I was just having fun with it but still get a chance watch it give me a like and subscribe or like and comment that's fine I don't mind tell me some ideas you have I know I have one I've got is I want to do some fishing out at Lake, out at uh, Harry Myers Park in Rockwall, Texas. It's a beautiful little lake out there. I sat out there this morning and I'm just, I brought me a chair and I think I'm just going to sit out there for a couple hours, bring me some waters and maybe some sandwiches and we're just going to chill out there, throw our, our fishing lines out there. If we don't catch anything, that's fine. We'll have a good two hours of relaxing at a lake. I want to do that. That'll be a nice little video. May not tell Steve I'm recording just for the heck of it. I probably would. Yeah. Well, no. Nah, I probably won't. But, yeah. So, we're going here. We're still on. This is La Prada. It's kind of a two-lane road, but the right-hand lane is good for people who live in this, the houses here. This is an older part of the street. It's been around for a while. Yet. No widgets. Look, he found the left hand stick. He flipped it up is to the right, down is to the left. He found the stick. It's a miracle. <laughs> oh man, I love it. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Sorry about that. They come in threes. My sneeze is always coming threes. Maybe not always. Every once in a while there's two. Then down the road I'll be going and all of a sudden it'll surprise me with the third one. Hmm. Just got to eating Cane's chicken. Mmm, doggy. Love it. But yeah, like I said, I have an I have a website on YouTube called Texas Adventures with Brexton. It was a Hey Mama Productions. It still is. And I'm about to put those back in there. But it used to be called Hey Mama Videos. Now I've called it Hey Mama Video Presentation. And uh, I'm trying to put that at the beginning of all my videos. But go in there. It's called Texas Adventures of Brexton on YouTube. I've got 180 videos. Yeah. I'd like to reach 200. 
in subscriptions so be sure to go in and like and subscribe subscribe for sure tell your friends about it Hope, Trent, share that video with your friends and they may like it and all of a sudden go in and like my videos also I've got videos dated back to probably two, three years ago some I did on Bonnie and, I did Bonnie and Clyde just recently and last year and then I've done some on Logan's Run which is a, a movie that was filmed here back in the 70's Farrah Fawcett actually had her very first uh, acting role in Logan's Run she played a nurse's an, an assistant to a doctor and uh, she was in there. And then, let's see, what else is going on? Let's see. Oh, and then I did some videos on, um, oh, just anything. I mean, anything I can do videos on, I'll do it, guys. My mind's just going blank. I don't know why. I just know. Oh, uh, Bonnie and Clyde. I love doing videos on them. I actually have a video before they tore the gas station down, Clyde's dad's gas station. I actually have a video on the gas station. I did it when they tore, I did it after they tore it down. I just showed some of the old video, but I also did it on a long time ago, about six or seven months before that I did it. And I actually filmed it, walking around it, showing you the gas station. It's just sad because they had it marked as a historical marker when you look up under maps, but it never really was. Somebody dropped the ball and didn't, and they sold it to somebody and they just tore this place down. It's just sad. They could have turned that into like a little souvenir stand. They could have turned it into anything. Sandwich place, but not be able to tear that building down. But it's gone. A new high rise is going in there. Just sad. But it's okay. I've got a video. I know where they're buried. Bonnie and Clyde are still buried separately. They're trying to get them. Bonnie moved over from Crown Hill Cemetery over to the other one where Clyde is buried. There's a space available there, but the Bonnie, the Bonnie's family are fighting it. They're saying no, they, she needs to be buried by her mother, which makes sense. But Clyde, Clyde's family has got a lot of pull, and they might win this case, but I hope not. The Bonnie needs to stay where she's at. Yeah, they were they were a couple, and they got married somewhere. Oh, I, was, I was just going to tell you also, guys, I got some videos before we reach the end here. I've got some videos up on the yard work we used, we're doing in the yard. It's like four parts to it. The fifth part is going to be the last one. It's going to be me uh, we're gonna, planting all the plants. We're going to put some plants in there. I can't afford it this month. We're going to put some plants in there and try to, like cactus and all kinds of fun stuff just to give that little thing a uh, really, really nice look. It's a big guy right there. Wonder who he robbed. <laughs> Hello, Gilligan. Hello, Skipper. I always say that when I go by that big old boat. That thing's been sitting there for almost three years. I've never moved it. They have never moved that thing. You don't want it. Just give it to me. I'll find a way to get it to run. Especially if I don't have to pay for it. I'll just take it and have somebody fix it. I'd like to put that out in the water. Well, we're here. Just wanted to say I'm here. And have fun, guys. Thank you for being part of my video. We didn't see any idgets on this route, but at least you got a nice little ride back from Rockwall, Texas. Or, excuse me, we were in Town East Mall in Mesquite, not Rockwall. So have a good one. Be good. Stay out of trouble. Peace.